Hey there, it's Sarah Spiker here and welcome to my now daily live streams to um, bring to you um, inspiration, motivation, resources, um, tools, anything that you need to thrive no matter what is going on around you. Whether you're a uh, leader, CEO, uh, business owner, especially a parent, <laughs> you know how exciting these times can be. Now, in all seriousness, um, whatever I'm going to share with you today, I do not mean to downplay the seriousness of current situation. And I do understand lives are at risk. But I also feel called to challenge a lot of beliefs and a lot of responses and reactions I'm noticing throughout everyday conversations that I'm having with friends and colleagues. And um, some of them are truly, truly, truly st uh, struggling with where they are right now and what's going on. So one thing that I have to say, I, f I know that I'm privileged with the fact that I get to live in this beautiful home. It's warm, it's bright. We have a lot of space outdoors for the kids to play around. Um, but believe it or not, just about two years ago, I felt like a prisoner in this very space. I felt like I did not belong and I could not escape fast enough. So I know how confining it can feel when you're forced or when you perceive this as a forced way to stay in a place that doesn't feel good physically. And I also understand the inner monologue that could be playing in your mind when you all of a sudden are t left with your thoughts, when there's no external distractions, when there's no colleagues to chat, when there's no team projects that you can work on face to face, when there's no daily routine as it used to be, when all of those things are interrupted, I know it can be a challenge. So today I want to share with you a couple of guidelines that I hope um, help you find this peace and calmness within and are tapping into your resourcefulness, resilience, and especially inviting you to take radical responsibility for your thoughts, emotions, and actions, because that's the only thing you can control right now. So, you know, like I mentioned, I've been doing this for nearly a decade now, working from my home office, and um, it's something that I chose to do. So I do understand when you're forced to move everything online, dynamic is a little bit different. But one of the things that um, has really helped me along the way that I want to pass on to you right now is a lesson that I had to learn the hard way. See, as a former athlete, I was always trained to push, to grind, to hustle, to focus on the goal and literally create this tunnel vision and everything else, nothing else mattered, whether it was a physical pain or emotional pain, we pushed through it. Um, once I started my own business, I have to say I felt lost at a certain point because the external simulation was not there. The external accountability was not there. The external motivation, yes, reaching a certain number in the bank account was there, but the internal inspiration was not quite established. So I had to really shift everything from seeking externally to finding it in myself. And that's what I mean by taking radical responsibility and really taking a look around and owning all of the results. If the results, desired results were not there, I had to take responsibility for it. And that originated from the thoughts and emotions and behaviors that I was exhibiting consciously and subconsciously. And that, like I said, was a journey and in, you know, it took years to develop, it took years of practicing, and it took years of heavily investing in mentors to help me along the process so that I developed this self-awareness. And for somebody who might be just starting or for somebody who might be finding yourself in this new, in unknown place, what I can offer to you, like I said, I don't know exactly where you're starting right now and what is that you're struggling with, but I do urge to you, urge on you, urge you to, <laughs> freaking English lesson, second, third actual language. Um, it is important right now, as it will ever be, for you to find your own support system and to find, find yourself a mentor, or find yourself... A colleague, find yourself somebody who not only has been where you're going, 
person, but somebody who is going to be challenging your stories that are coming up and who's going to be offering you alternative perception and who's going to help you see things from a different level and the big picture and who's also going to help you and safely guide you through all of those layers when you can internally uncover this space within yourself when you can rely on yourself when you can rely on your resourcefulness when you can rely on your perseverance and resilience and you don't need the external motivator you don't need deadlines on a schedule you don't need a boss standing behind your shoulder you don't need um whatever it is to help you moving now like i said all of this can be super overwhelming when you also dealt the responsibility of homeschooling your kids, taking care of the kids when you're confined to your own space, wherever you are right now. Um, and like I said, I have been there. I have been in a space in time just a few short years ago when I felt I did not belong, when everything was so overwhelming, when I literally felt disconnected from the reality, from everything. And I was just going step by step, day after day. And you know what, if this is where you're starting right now, give yourself love and self-compassion because if this is the best you can do right now, then this is good enough. But the problem that especially those of us who are high achievers and uh, very competitive people and those of us who are, you know, driven, we don't give this to ourselves. More often, we are trying to compensate our lack of worthiness by hustling, grinding, working even harder to create some external results that we can justify our self-worth with. Well, right now in this situation, in the current environment, a lot of tools were taken away from us. A lot of those outlets are taken away from us where we cannot go out there and perform as normally and, <laughs> you know, to prove ourselves. So it can be a little challenging to have to go again inwards and fight all the demons that are coming up. But even then, I would offer you something. As opposed to saying, you know, I'm having a hard time or I'm finding demons that are coming up and all the stories that are holding me back, reframe those stories to begin with. You know, it's not hard, it's challenging. Um, they're not demons, they are inner voices, inner guidance, um, resistance that is coming up and forcing you, literally forcing you to take a look from different angles and to grow, to choose to expand beyond your comfort zone because only then the growth can occur. And sometimes, you know, I get asked this actually quite often from my clients too when they said, you know, I feel awesome. And I'm in this space of expansion and I feel calm and I feel I finally arrived. But then when I look at my results and my reality and it's not there yet. And then as opposed to remaining focused and in this space of expansion and feeling good, we all do that. You know, it's a human nature and it takes a ton of self-awareness and practice to catch ourselves when you do that. And I even do it myself. Um, when we start looking for the evidence of everything that is not there yet and that just diverts our thoughts again and then just diverts our focus to all the things that are lacking as opposed to remaining focused on all that there is. And one of the easiest practices to get through um, those turmoils is gratitude. You know, it's been proven that it physically shapes, reshapes our brains when we practice daily gratitude. And it can be something as simple as, I am just grateful to be alive. I am grateful for everybody that I can take. I am grateful to spend time with my kids. Yes, they're driving me crazy, but you know what? And then you finish the sentence on a positive note and you start reframing all of those thoughts. And all of those thoughts now evoke different emotions. And from those different emotions, you're now able to take different actions and develop different habits, which normally, normally, obviously, will lead to different results. And those results now are the ones that you're like, oh, okay, I'm in alignment. And if the results are not there, you know that there's still some disconnect somewhere that you need to find. Um, Another thing that I would like to 
invite you to do is as you're going through this on your own or if you have somebody who is going this and you feel this video would be helpful please share it with them but there's another piece that i think it's really really important as well and i invite you to do that also not all of us react to new unknown unprecedented situations the same way some freeze some fight some you know some run away we have the freeze flight fight modes right and i can tell from my personal experiences for example one of my daughters she absolutely freezes so as somebody who can have influence on her as her parent um and this is going to be transferable for you to you if you're a leader ceo um head of a company if you have a team you can observe your teammates also if they're in a mode of fright flight or f uh, freeze <laughs> so many f's um my daughter for example she would absolutely freeze whenever there's something unknown and she finds herself in her head intellectualizing and really analyzing things that are hard and challenging and she would work herself up to tears and she would have physical reaction sometimes so it is my job to help her break things down into bite-sized pieces and to find again tap into my resourcefulness to help her tap in her own and help build up resilience and we literally take it step by step and break things down and find different ways to explain things different way to solve problems so a good leader that you are check in on your team check in on your friends check in on your colleagues right now it's also a great time i know even when you're overwhelmed it's gonna go a long way if you make the time to reach out to those that you believe might need you and especially those who do you believe might not need you who seemingly have it all figured out because behind that facade of having it all figured out is usually a very shaky foundation again i have been there i know personally how it is to literally feeling like you're gonna vomit and feeling like the world is coming down but then when this phone ring when the lights come on when the camera starts rolling you put this smile on your face and you show up on a camera and you show up in front of your people and everything's perfect and then when the lights come off again you're back in the shaking and feeling nauseous and doubts and fears and feeling like the world is collapsing and everything is closing in on you i have been there it is not a pleasant situation but no one could tell because i was always a strong one i was always the one who had it all figured out so as a leader you know this might not be in your job description I'm just looking out through the window. It's so amazing to see so many people actually joining together as families, of course, not friends, but families coming out for walks. And I'm just about to take my little ones and our dogs for a walk when we're done here. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, so yes, check in on them and help them. If you have the tools, if you have the capacity, if you have the expertise, be there for them and sometimes you know what just listening can go a long way um i just reconnected with an old friend of mine we haven't spoken in a long time and we had the most amazing exchange and it was filled with laughter because we both chose to see possibilities in this current situation too and uh, we both learned through all the lessons that life has served us how to tap into our own inner guidance, how to connect with our inner beings, how to build this perseverance, resilience, and how to be resourceful no matter what's going on. And this is probably one of the greatest gifts that I had received from all of the life journeys and experiences and challenges and obstacles and it's something that certainly can be developed when you are open to seeing it that way so i invite you to look for it and last but not least i want to leave you with um, the final thought that 
hopefully brings it all together in a full circle to where we started. We started this conversation with how overwhelming it can be when, you know, um, the world is not where it used to be, the politics, the health, um, for empaths like you, myself, you know, we can feel other people's pain as well and we can take it on. Um, it can be overwhelming also for somebody who is new to managing all the responsibilities and this new dynamic from working from home and managing schedules and not having the external, you know, <laughs> accountability and external support. I get that. But this is also the perfect time to really take a step back and start seeing what can be prioritized and how can we work smarter, um, not harder. Because overall, and I believe this could be far-fetched for some people, but after, overall, I do believe, I actually do know deep inside of me that all of this that is happening right now is a gift. A gift to all of us, a gift to the humanity to really rethink the way we have lived, to rethink the way we prioritized our health, our lives, our families, our friends, um, our skill set, our dreams, and to really is giving us an opportunity to take the blinders off and to get out of the tunnel vision and blindly following through a system that is fundamentally broken, but we have been brainwashed to trust it and to follow it without any questioning. This is really an opportunity to heal on a deeper level and this is really an opportunity to elevate um, ourselves to the higher level, elevate our communities, elevate as a collective, elevate the whole humanity. Um, and again, it is an opportunity when somebody chooses to see it and it's in, in each and every one of us to start looking for that light, to choosing to see the light, to choosing to be that light. So those are the thoughts that were streaming through for today's live video. I do hope they resonate and I do hope you find that um, in those thoughts some golden nuggets that you found answers, that you found ideas that you were looking for. And especially that you find the courage and uh, strength within yourself to not only persevere, but to thrive. Because fundamentally, we were all meant to thrive. And all of this that there is, it's simply a lesson that we need to learn. So let's embrace this lesson. And let's make the most out of it. Stay safe. And again, check in on those who might need you and checking on those who you believe don't need you at all and continue having conversation because social distancing might be physical distancing but definitely not in connecting take care talk to you soon